one of the most insane decisions is recent in recent weeks not even that is david cameron returning to politics now i try where i can to keep an unbiased view but how is this good for the country can someone please explain that why is he the foreign secretary this man who agreed to do a referendum and basically thought the referendum was going to fail it didn't it passed we had to leave the eu he resigned leaving theresa may to come in pick up the mess and try and stop the Tory party from falling apart as well as trying to strike a deal which he couldn't do with so then it went to bojo of all people what so why is the man who created the mess that we are currently in back in politics please tell me am i being thick maybe i am being thick okay but david cameron wants to unlock billions of dollars for foreign aid of course he does <sighs> You know, because he wants people to like him again. The Tories want people to vote for them next year. So they need to make it seem like, in my opinion, that they are doing a great job. They've had so many by-elections that I could write a book about it, you know. Let's just put it like that. Well, David Cameron is making a return to frontline politics. He's not even an MP. Well, I guess he is now if he's coming back as the foreign secretary. But uh, I don't even know how that works. But, okay. Well, anyway, he's going to the House of Lords or something. Anyway, by saying he wants to un unlock billions of dollars for foreign aid over the next decade as part of a moral mission to help the world's poorest people. Well, at this rate, the Tories are going to be out next year anyway. At the rate they're going. So it's it's borrowed time, mate. It's borrowed time time okay you ain't gonna be foreign secretary for long in a remarkable change of tone for a government that closed the department for international development and slashed the foreign aid budget the former prime minister is to say he wants to push for the restoration of aids status in british foreign policy of course he does because why they don't want to lose power of course he does they make all these changes over the years and then when they realise they're on the losing side they start promising all of these things that they undid years ago in order to win again. That's what I believe. And I don't necessarily vote for Labour either, you know? In a remarkable change of tone for a government. Oh, I read that bit. Cameron was also appointed by, for, uh, appointed foreign secretary by Rishi on Monday. An astonishing political comeback. Remember, this is coming from the Guardian. Not that I told you that, but it's coming from the Guardian, so it does have a bias, in some respects. Um, he is to write a forward in a new international development white paper that foreign aid is even more vital, but more difficult than when he was in last office <laughs> well of course it is but do you know what should we really be focusing on foreign aid or should we actually be focusing on our own problems that we have currently in this country i mean yes we do need foreign aid foreign aid is a thing that we should have absolutely but i want the government to also focus on the issues that we have in our nation just saying uh the internationalist time will probably infuriate the tory right already angry that cameron's return signals a rush to the political center ground of course it does to be honest with you he's probably he was probably more center anyway i think while his failure to formally commit extra public money to aid will dismay many charities of course it will because why support the charities, you know? 
Cameron will say that the UK must find fresh ways to meet the UN's sustainable development goals, including ending global hunger by 2030. He describes the UN goals as remarkable achievement, adding crucially we made these promises to every country and person on the planet, nobody would be left behind. The Conservatives want to win. They're going to use this, I bet. As as part of their um, like, oh, I can't think what you call it off the top of my head. I want to say promotion, but it's it's not it's not promotion. <laughs> I I can't think what it's called at the moment. Anyway, um, the development white paper is to be published on Monday as a global food summit is held in London. Officials say Cameron took the white draft paper home in his ministerial box on his first day of office. In office, reading it overnight, he said. Um, in office, Cameron made aid a central compassionate conservatism, committing his government to spending 0.7 of the GDBP on aid and co-chairing a UN panel on extreme poverty that led in uh, 2015 to the 17 UN Sustainable Development Goals. The white paper focuses on new policy approaches and ways of leveraging extra state and private funds for aid, which Cameron says could unlock hundreds of billions of dollars over the next decade well at the rate the conservatives are going to be going they're not going to be in for the next decade people just don't like them a lot of people are done with them they're through it does not change the economic preconditions set by sonak for a return to spending 0.7 or gdp after the aid budget was cut to 0.5 percent in 2020 listen Okay, I, I'm not going to read this whole entire thing. But this essentially, to me, is saying that they want to win the next election. Of course they do. You know, why wouldn't they? And that, that's fine to want to win it. This is what they're going to probably go with. One of the things that they're going to go with. That's what I think anyway. Shout about it, don't shout about it. Let me know what you think. It just infuriates me that this man who essentially sent us to the dogs is back in politics.